Hey, welcome back to the channel. So yesterday I did a training for my Rainmaker Inner Circle people, and this is an abbreviated version of that training. And it's gonna go over what I call the email cash machine. And it's my entire email marketing strategy that brings in 40K plus a month in sales. And I'm gonna break this down to you. Everything from how I grow my email lists to what types of emails I send to the automations and the promotions that I send. So everything around my email marketing strategy, if you watch this video to the end, you're gonna see what that is. And like I said, this is a training that I did for my Inner Circle students. So if you are enjoying this content, you're getting a lot of value out of it, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so that you can see any of my future videos. So with that said, I'm gonna hop into my screen here, my computer, and I'm gonna break down the entire email cash machine for you so that you can take this and you can apply it either to your own email list if you're writing for yourself and your own offers, or if you're writing for a client, you can apply this strategy and get paid to do it for them. So what you're seeing on the screen here is first of all, this diagram here is a bird's eye view of my email cash machine. So my email list, it's the most valuable asset that I have. It's how I get paid every day. And every social media channel that I have points back to my email cash machine and my email list. So you can see these yellow blocks here, these are my social media channels, how I grow and get people into my email cash machine. And these green boxes here are what I do once people are in my email cash machine on my email list. So this is my entire email marketing strategy, everything that I do to generate 40K plus a month from my email list. And so what I'm gonna cover in this training is everything from how I plan my emails to how I turn one piece of content or one email into four or more pieces of content to my daily emails, automations, and my monthly promotion strategy. And so you can apply this to your own list if you're writing for yourself, or if you're writing for clients, you can take this and take the ideas that you learn here and apply it for your client. And so welcome to the email cash machine. It's gonna be a super valuable training for you and show you exactly what I do to grow and monetize my email list. So first off, we have how I grow my list, right? So I use social media, I use mostly organic methods and organic strategies to get people into my email cash machine. And I'll show you examples of what I'm doing here. So the first channel that I use is Twitter. And I have an entire video on how I'm growing on Twitter. If you wanna watch a more detailed breakdown, I'll link to it below this video in the description. And what I'm doing is I'm just posting three tweets a day and one thread a week, which is like multiple tweets under one tweet. So this is my Twitter profile. Uh, Sean Anthony says, if you wanna follow me, and you can see every day I'm posting, I have one, two, and I have one more posting in about an hour. And so every day I'm just posting three of these tweets and I have one thread a week that's posted, which is kind of like a longer blog article of multiple different tweets together. And the reason I do that is if I go to my analytics, you can see that Twitter has some pretty good organic reach. So I have 506,000 tweet impressions in the last 28 days. And when people view my profile, it says right here, 99,000 profile visits. That's a lot of profile visits. And so if I were to pay for ads, that would cost quite a bit of money to get 99,000 visits and clicks to my profile. But I'm using organic strategies and just posting or tweeting three times a day, one thread a week. And when people click over to my profile, there's this link here, which links to my different offers, both my free and paid offers, and people can join my email list by clicking on this link. So that is the first channel, which is Twitter. This is uh, one of the channels I use to get people onto my email list. The second social channel I use is YouTube. So you're obviously watching this video on YouTube right now. And I post one to two videos a week on Monday and Wednesday. And my emails that I write to my list are reposted to my community tab. So if I go to my channel here, this is one of my videos and you can see in the description section, it has links to some of my other videos and it also has links to my Facebook group, which collects people's email address as well in exchange for a special report. And if you scroll down here, there's a link to join my list as well. And so that's the first section. When I post a video, every video I post has links to my email list. Another place that I uh, used YouTube is my community tab. So I post my emails here and that's a way where I turn one piece of content into two. So I take an email that I write to my list. I repost it here with a picture. And this is just another way to get more views out of that piece of content. So that's the second channel, YouTube. The third channel that I use to grow my email list organically is a Facebook group. I call these my big money micro groups. So every email that I write is repurposed as a post in my Facebook group with a picture. So if I go here, 
and I go and click on my name, I can see all my different uh, emails. This is the one that you just saw on YouTube and you can see here it has a picture and it's posted to my group. So if I scroll through here, you can see all of my different emails and posts in my Facebook group. So now I'm taking one piece of content, that email, and I'm turning it into three. So I have an email to my list, I have a community post on my YouTube channel, and I have a post in my Facebook group as well. So these are my three channels. This is how I grow my email list. I get about 25 to 30 people who join my list every day, sometimes more, sometimes less, but it's all through these organic channels here and these organic strategies. Now, what do I do once people are on my list? So I talked about these yellow boxes here. This is how I grow my list and get people into my email cash machine. What do I do once people are on my list? The first thing is I have a daily hand raiser and this is just a daily email to my list. And this is how I get daily sales coming in, daily customers who are buying my different offers. So if you wanna see a training on my daily email strategy, I have VBO here. This is my daily email framework. Uh, VBO stands for value bridge in one thing. If you wanna see this, I'll link to a video below. It's called my money making formula for writing emails. And you'll see exactly what this VBO stands for. But what I wanna talk about is my schedule for my daily hand raisers. How do I plan out my emails for the week? The topics I'm gonna to talk about and the theme of my emails. So on Mondays and Wednesdays, like I mentioned, I usually link to a YouTube video. So this is what that looks like here. You can see here, this is an email. It's a pretty short email. It just teases what's in the video and it gets people to click over to the link. So this goes directly to a new YouTube video that I post. So this is an email that's going out on Monday and Wednesday, and this just links to a piece of content that I have. Now on Tuesday, what I do is I just post a standard daily hand raiser using my VBO framework. And so it, it could be a mix of any one of these email types. I'll talk about these in a second, but on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'm writing one of these email types using my VBO value bridge one thing email writing framework. So let's take a look at an example of this one. This is one that I sent out yesterday. The subject line was, this is what happens when you have too many decisions to make. And I go into like a personal story and an insight that I have around when you give people too many decisions, they just, they don't like making decisions. So they don't make a decision at all. So I talk about that here. It's a mixture of a personal story and an insight. And this is an example of just a standard daily email using my VBO framework here. So those go out on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, and use one of these email types here. Now on Friday, this is a bit different. I call it Friday Fire. It's my weekly content roundup. And what I'm doing here is I write a little short story about what happened during the week, and I break it down by repurposing my content. So these are links to my two YouTube videos. This is linked to a Twitter thread that I wrote for the week. I also break down wins from the week from my different students and clients. So you can see that here. And then I also write an insight from the week, something that I thought about during the week that can teach somebody something when they're reading this. And at the end, I have a call to action. I, I ask people to reply to me with their biggest growth challenge. And if they wanna check out the different ways that I can help them, they can click here, which leads to my different free and paid offerings. So those are my daily hand raisers. This is my email schedule every week. Monday, Wednesday, link to, link to content like a YouTube video. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday is just my standard VBO formula for writing emails. And then Friday is my Friday Fire weekly content roundup. Now, what do I write in these emails, these VBO emails? So I have a lot more email types that I experiment with and that I write, but these are some of my go-to types. And if you wanna see this live in action, you wanna get these emails delivered to your inbox so you can read them and study them, Go to my list. If you go to seananthony.co, there's gonna be an opt-in box at, a, at the bottom of the page where you can opt-in, you can see these emails for yourself. A few of my email types. One is the Q&A. So this could mean question and answer or quote and answer. So I get a lot of questions from people directly to my email address or to my Facebook group, to my posts and people commenting, asking questions on Twitter. So what I do is I will quote the person, whether it's a question or something they said that was funny or silly, and then I write an answer. I write my feedback on that. Super simple email to write. And one of my favorite types is my Q&A email. The second type is a teaser. So if I have a new offer coming out or a new piece of content, an example would be something like this, right? I'm teasing this YouTube video and getting people to click over to it. So if I have a new product launching or I have a new training coming out, I will tease it with an email and get people excited and build anticipation. 
a new insight. So I showed you an example here. This is a, an insight I had about when you give people too many decisions to make, they just don't make any decisions at all. And so this was a, a new insight that I had. So whenever I'm consuming content or I'm watching TV or movies, or I'm just doing something in my daily life and I have a new idea or an insight, or I learn something new, I can share that in an email. Personal story. This can be just something that happened in my daily life or in my business. And I just talk about it in an email link to content. This is like I showed you here. This is linking to content. I'm getting people to click over to a YouTube video. If I have a zoom training or something, I get people to click over to that. That's an example of a link to content email type current events. So if something's happening in the world, like right now, there's all this stuff going on with Joe Rogan, people are trying to cancel him. I might write an email about that something that's happening in the public eye that's top of mind for people. This can be very powerful. I don't use these as much. But if you are in tune with current events and pop culture, you can tie a lot of that stuff into emails. So the way that I use this mostly is I like to watch TV and movies, I will usually tie in those TVs and movies I watch and the lessons I learned there or something that comes to mind when I'm watching into an email. So that's a current event type of email customer win. These are another one of my favorites. I can just take a screenshot of a win that my customer or client had and then write an email about that summarizing their experience. So what I do here is I, I just talk about like where they were before, where they were after working with me and what result they got and how they got the result. So these are so simple to write because your customer, if they are winning, they will typically write this entire email for you. And then lastly is a controversial opinion. So if I have an opinion that goes against like the status quo where people are saying one thing, but I think something else, I will go in and give my own controversial opinion and write that up in an email. And so these are like my go to email types. I use many other email types other than these, but these are some that I use most frequently. And this is for my daily hand raiser emails. Now my automation sequences, these are to get automated sales and these are based on subscriber behavior. So these are three core sequences that I have. I have more than these three sequences that I'm trying and experimenting with. But whenever I'm setting up sequences for myself, or I'm setting it up for a client, these are the core sequences that I focus on. So a welcome sequence, this is basically whenever someone joins my list, I have two places where you can join my list. One is through my Facebook group. So if I go here, and I go back to my group, there are some membership questions. And one of them is enter your email here, if you want my subject line secrets report. So someone enters their email here, they get put into a welcome sequence automation. And it promotes my super fast sales email challenge, which is a $49 product teaches you how to write your first email that sells. So that's an example of a welcome sequence. Another one is if you go to seananthony.co right here, you can opt in for a free course. I'll just show you right now, if it will load. You can opt in here for my 1k a day offer buffet course. And that's also a welcome sequence. And it also promotes my different offerings there. So that's a welcome sequence. Whenever someone joins your list, it's a seven to 10 email sequence that welcomes them and also promotes a front end offer that you have an abandoned cart sequence. So this is whenever someone starts to check out for one of my products, they put their name in their, their credit card details, their address, but for whatever reason, they get distracted. They have to pick up their kids from school or someone's at the door, the mailman, they get distracted and they don't complete their order. The abandoned cart sequence, simply brings them back and gets them to complete the order. Another way that I use this is I have a coaching program. So if someone starts to fill out the application, but they don't finish it, I get them to come back and fill that out so that I can reach out to them. And so that's what an abandoned cart sequence does. It just gets people who have started the sales process, but didn't complete it to come back and finish it. The third sequence, and this is I love this sequence because of how profitable it is. It's called the thank you next upsell sequence. If you want to see the breakdown of, of this sequence specifically, I have it in my cash windfall campaigns product, which is linked in the description below. And what this does is whenever I have a new customer who goes through one of my products, once they finish the product, I thank them for being a customer. And then I ask them, Hey, would you, would you like to tackle the next challenge together? The next thing together, and that will upsell them or cross sell them to the next product that can help them with that next problem. And this, is a super powerful sequence. This is typically the first sequence I'll set up for a client because there's no better person to reach out to 
and get them to buy again than a, than a customer who is happy with your first product. So if you have a customer that's happy with product A that you have, it's very easy to get them to buy product B because they wanna continue working with you because they had such a good experience with that first product. So this is a sequence I set up at the end of all of my products. Whenever they buy one, they go through it. I thank them for being a customer and I ask them if they wanna tackle that next thing together, which is my next offer. So these are my core automation sequences to get automated sales, whether I'm sleeping or awake or on vacation. These are running all the time, 24 seven, 365, whenever someone takes a specific behavior, whether that's joining my list, whether that is going through and starting the, the checkout process but not completing it, or completing one of my products, I'm introducing them to the next thing. The last part of my email cash machine are monthly promotions. So these are to create bigger cash windfalls in a shorter time period. So I do one or two of these a month. Typically, I have just one of these a month and my main promotion is for my email side hustle program. If you want more details on that, it's also linked in the description. And so every four to five weeks, I'm running a re-enrollment campaign for the next class of email side hustle students. So every four weeks over a 10 day period, I have a promotion that goes out over email and my Facebook group and my YouTube channel that gets people into that next email side hustle class. The second promotion is if I have a new second product that's launching, like last month, I had my cash windfall campaigns, new product that launch. So I had my email side hustle promotion and I also had the cash windfall campaigns promotion going out. And so this is my email cash machine. I covered how I get people into, the, into my email cash machine, onto my list, how I grow that organically by 25 to 30 people every day. I talked about what I do once people are on my list, my daily hand raising, my daily email strategy, the automations that I use, the core sequences, and then also the monthly promotions for those bigger cash windfalls in a shorter period of time where there's a start and end date. And so this system here, very simple system that I use, simple strategy, this brings in 40K a month. And like I said, it's, it's pretty much all organic. So it's almost 100% profit other than the tools that I pay for to run this. And so this is a super powerful strategy. And if you're wondering like where you should start for your email marketing strategy, whether you're writing for your own list or for a client, this should help you out greatly. So go through this again, apply this and implement the different segments on how to grow your list on how to nurture your list every day and get daily sales using these hand raisers. Uh, use these email types and get on my list at seananthony.co to see these emails in action. Here's the automation sequences to set up, the core sequences, and then also the monthly promotion strategy that I use. So this is a training that I did for people in my Rainmaker Inner Circle, which is an expensive investment. So if you guys enjoyed this and got value out of this, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. This is my email cash machine. Hope this helps you out and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.